When Elon Musk bought Twitter a few months ago, he offered expanded ability to upload videos for people who joined his blue checkmark program. I joined right away. I make videos. The problem that I had with Twitter is that Twitter's feed is a an endless stream of noise and contentiousness that I really don't want to participate in. So what I did is I started seeking out different profiles that were offering something positive to show up in my Twitter feed. One of the profiles, one of many profiles that I did follow, you do have to participate if you want to grow your channel, uh, was a, uh, a guy named Ed. Ed offers instructions to uh, those who wish to follow him on how to have a successful life. Now, I don't know exactly what he does, but he's teaching people how to make money online, and it involves direct sales of some sort. He's gonna teach you how to be good at direct sales. And he's a martial artist. And one day, Ed says the following. Yes, many people live to 70 and even 80, but these people are barely alive. Life ended many years ago. Your window as a young, vivacious man is extremely short and you must maximize it absolutely. Do you hear me? <laughs> what the fuck, Ed? I responded to Ed's tweet with the following. I'm 73, financially secure and happy as fuck. The past 12 years have been the happiest of my life because I worked invested and raised my family when I was young. Here's my posse. Ed responded in a way that I was not anticipating. He responded by saying, that's awesome. Do you have any tips? I thought that was a really cool response. So I put some real thought into how I wanted to respond to that question. And this, is, and, and this is what I wrote to him. I've lived my life with a fair degree of self-discipline. I've been goal-focused with a few bad habits. But a top priority has been and still is physical fitness with sensible diet and regular exercise. Now, you may have noticed that I've been reading some of these uh, statements that I had put up on Twitter because I wanted to get the, their quotes and I wanted to get them precise. I normally do this in an extemporaneous way, so we're back to being extemporaneous here. So what happened after that exchange of tweets, uh, I, I started thinking about what I might have to offer. Here's a major difference between myself and people like Ed. I know a number of people who are uh, in that genre. But what all of these uh, men do that are offering advice is they're offering a service. They're offering a service um, uh, that you pay for. And I have a lot to offer people. What I don't have to offer is a service that you have to pay for. I'm just gonna make videos about the thoughts, the ideas, the philosophies, the habits, the ways of being, the ways of action, committed action, things like that. Ideas that have served me well over my life and over the course of my life and have built a, uh, a wonderful life for me and I think for my loved ones. I have people in the world, both back in the States and here in Thailand, who are part of my, my, my posse, if you will. And, um, and yeah, you know, they all get to benefit out of a successful life uh, that you know, an individual man can manifest, you know, by just, uh, you know, a few simple ideas and a, and a lot of committed action. So that's what I'm going to be talking about in my videos going forward. My life is quite full. I make videos. I take photographs of beautiful women, mostly. I teach yoga and I travel a lot. I have family in the United States who I visit twice a year daughters with their husbands and a sister and grandchildren. And here I have what I described earlier in the video as my posse. And part of my posse is this beautiful woman right here. 
who is uh, part of my extended family. She's my girlfriend's niece. Her name is Sai Sai. You see a lot of Sai Sai if you watch my my videos, especially on my Instagram channels. She's uh, she models for me, and uh, you know I pay her a stipend for her modeling efforts. And she's a, a, a student, a veterinary doctor. She's studying to be a doctor, a veterinary doctor, and she's in her second year of uh, a veterinary school. Uh, working really hard and very busy, and I think she appreciates the, uh, the money she makes modeling, and I certainly appreciate her because she's just a beautiful woman. And so that's my life today in, in Thailand. And I want to continue talking about how I got to this happy state. You know, inside of a happy life, by the way. This didn't just, you know, something changed and I became this successful happy guy. I've had a good life most of my life, and it's because of some uh, fundamental principles that I live from, and I'm going to be sharing them with, with you as I go forward. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon in the next video.